is steadily growing in Uganda. Large and medium scale roasters are keenly responding to this growth. At roaster level, coffee is certified under the East African Standard on Roast and Ground Coffee in line with the Uganda National Bureau of Standards. Roasteries that meet both local and international demand of Ugandan roasted coffee are widespread across the country. A variety of emerging brands in market are indication that value addition is viable if the country is to fully reap the financial benefits from its unique coffee. A vibrant domestic coffee consumption culture is progressively gaining momentum as many Ugandans develop the palate for well-brewed coffee in the mushrooming cafes. This vivacious coffee consumption trend undoubtedly supplements Uganda's distinctive tourism sector that offers unmatched attractions on the continent to the fact that no tourist visits and leaves the country without experiencing that irresistibly sweet aromatic taste of Uganda's coffee. As Uganda pushes forward with its drive to attain a middle income status, one of its strategic goals is to accelerate coffee production from the current 7 million to 20 million bags. To achieve this, Uganda Coffee Development Authority is increasing the yield of coffee per tree and ensuring excellent quality of all coffees that are sold on the local and international markets. Thank you. Very impressive. Very impressive about uh, the whole, uh, depicting the whole picture of uh, Uganda coffee processing. So I see every detail matters most in Uganda for every bag of Uganda coffee beans uh, being exported to uh, Europe, to uh, America, and to China. Uh, I believe uh, the, uh, the coffee roasters, importers, and traders with us today uh, are totally convinced of the high quality of Uganda coffee. Uh, Coffee the uh, quality and regular, uh, regulatory services manager from Uganda Coffee Development Authority to give us further details about high quality Uganda coffee. So once again, I'd like to invite you to join me in a round of a warm applause to the quality assurance manager madam rose from ucda to introduce to us more about the high quality coffee products in uganda please madam uh, good morning everyone from uganda um I'm very privileged to be on this show. To be on uh, this show. Where I'll be presenting about the Uganda presenting coffee. About the Uganda. Yes, uh, thank you very much. Yes, I'll be presenting about the opportunities for investment in the Uganda coffee subsector. I, the scope of my presentation is introduction Location of Uganda, Location of production, Uganda. export statistics. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me for a moment.
Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, Uganda producing Uganda producing Uganda is proud to be the birthplace of Robusta coffee. Uh, however, Arabica coffee was introduced in 1900s from Malawi, and it's called Nyasaland because of that. And some was introduced from Ethiopian highlands. Uh, coffee accounts for about 20% of total export earnings and is the third in foreign exchange earnings. Uh, Uganda is the second African producer and the largest African exporter. Current production is at 8 million bags, that is uh, of 2020, 2021, and exports stand at 6.1 million bags. And most of our coffee, 85% precisely, is produced by smallholder farmers. Uh, Uganda has, um, is on the equator, uh, is a strut the equator. Uh, it has one part which is in the northern hemisphere and a another part in the southern hemisphere. Uh, we, are, we have highlands uh, which are in the northwestern Uganda. North, northwestern Uganda, we have the Mount Renzo areas. We have south uh, bordering Rwanda, uh, Mount Mahavura. And to the east, neighboring Kenya, we have uh, Mount Elgon, which produce, produces Ar Arabica coffee. Uh, most of our area is able to produce uh, robusta coffees, especially around the Lake Victoria Crescent and also in the medium plateau highlands of southwestern Uganda and uh, northern Uganda. Uh, because of our placement uh, being uh, across uh, the equator coming across the Uganda map, uh, we are able to have two seasons and those two seasons uh, help us to have two harvests per year. In central we have the main crop around November to Feb. Uh, Masaka, we, that, is, that time uh, the southwestern part of Masaka is having, uh, has a fly crop and also eastern and, and uh, west Nile they have a uh, main crop around November to Feb. At uh, now, uh, in the middle of the year, that is from May to August, we have a fly crop in Central, Eastern, and Bugisu. And also, at the same time, we have a um, main crop in Masaka, Western, and West Nile. So, uh, if you are trading in Uganda or importing coffee from Uganda, you are able to get coffee throughout the year because our seasons move throughout uh, the year. Uh, Uganda is one of the topmost coffee producers uh, in the whole world. It comes after Brazil, Vietnam, Colombia, and Indonesia and Ethiopia. So uh, our production is high and is still going high because we have strategies to improve the production and exports. In 2015, uh, His Excellency the President of the Republic of Uganda signed a roadmap to increase the coffee production to 20 million bags by 2025. And we are already moving towards that because uh, when it was signed, we're exporting 4.5 million bags but last year we were able to export 6.1 million bags. So we are moving towards the target of 20 million bags by 2025. However, uh, the exports to China uh, are not very high. Uh, that is why we have to do a lot of promotion like this one. Uh, we, have, uh, we had exports of 20,000 bags in 2018-19. And in 1920, we had an export of 33,000 bags, uh, but they doubled, more than doubled in 2021, 2020-2021. Uh, the percentages are still low, but we hope with these uh, initiatives of sensitizing the uh, consumers in China will have exports grow. Uh, in Uganda, we have different types of coffee, as I had told you. We have Arabicas, 
Arabicas are from West Nile, are called White Nile or Okoro. They are from the mountain ranges uh, of northwestern Uganda, and they have a strong body and medium acidity. Now, down south, a neighbor, neighboring Rwanda, we have Mount Mahavura, uh, and this is the place where the last mountain gorillas are found, and we have coffee growing there at an altitude of 1,900 meters above sea level. Uh, this coffee is called Kisoro coffee, and it has a very unique and delicate floral flavor. In the eastern, uh, we have the mountain ranges of Mount Elgon, and this is the place uh, that has been growing a lot of Arabica coffee, and it has premium Arabica coffees. And uh, they also have a floral test, and they are selling at a very high uh, premium in the Ugandan coffees, and they are well branded and known by the, by the markets like that. Uh, we have uh, Highland Natural Robustas. Uh, our Robustas grow at an altitude which would have been even suitable for Arabicas. And because they were naturally growing there, so they are still growing there, and they have a very good sweet flavor. They are neutral, and they are very strict hard bean, and they are very good and suitable for espressos, and they can stand alone as brands. In the mountains uh, of Western Uganda, or what we call mountains of the moon, this mountain is found at the equator, but it's not kept. It's 5,000 meters above sea level. And on the slopes of this mountain, we find very, very unique coffees, which are mainly uh, naturals, and we call them Druga. Druga stands for dry Uganda Arabica. And these coffees have a very good um, winey and uh, uh, winey taste. And they are very suitable, and they are usually taken as, as uh, specialty coffees and exported to USA. Uh, this is a picture of this is a our lab. Picture. Our lab uh, has 25 cuppers who are certified by the CQI, and we have both Robusta and Arabica cuppers, and they are well calibrated and they renew their licenses in time. Uh, this is a picture of two cuppers who were evaluating the coffees, and uh, that is, uh, that is uh, Rashid and another gentleman. We have ladies, they are not in this picture, uh, but when you see the actual capping, you'll see that we had two ladies on the, on the table. Yes, uh, Uganda coffee is usually uh, accompanied by permits, or what we call a transport permit and quality certificate. And we issue this uh, certificate on the MIS. Uh, these certificates are issued per consignment and per container. Uh, these certificates are issued to only conforming lots. Uganda, we have a very robust inspection system, and we supervise the exports of all these coffees, the 6.1 million bags. And all these coffees are picked, they are analyzed in our lab, and they are issued documents to accompany them to go to different destinations. And all these uh, documents are on E, and they are also uh, visible to the customs uh, of Uganda to allow seamless movement through our borders. Uh, this is a lineup of different grades that we have. Uh, I had told you before that we have Robusta and Arabica. Robusta accounts uh, for 80% of our production and export, while Arabica is 20%. Uh, in these coffees, we have sustainable coffees, we have specialty coffees. We also have commercial coffees. Uh, we have uh, Robusta, which may be organic or oats. That is a sustainable coffee. We have Robusta oats. We have uh, RFA certified coffees also, not on this list, but they are there, available. We have washed Robusta, uh, which is uh, really highly demanded for by mainly uh, Japan. Uh, we have uh, screen 18, 17, up to 12. These are different grades that we have for, our, for robustas. And screen 18 is the highest uh, grade in the robusta conventional coffees. 
Uh, while screen 15 is used as a standard at the London market to give uh, prices to other coffees which are exported uh, on the London uh, exchange. Uh, we also have undergrades. Uh, these are the coffees uh, that come out of the sorting of the other coffees and they are used mainly for producing soluble or what we usually call instant coffees and they are also very good and they are usually demanded for by countries like uh, mainly India. On the other hand, we have Arabica coffees. We have specialty from Mount Renzori, Mount Elgon, Kisoro, and West Nile. And these coffees are of very, very high quality. They cap around 84 and above, and they are very, very highly demanded for by the specialty markets. Then we have the conventional Arabicas, uh, the double A, single A, the P berries, the B, CPB, and uh, at, the, at the end there we have uh, washed Uganda Arabica, popularly known as Uga. This coffee is mainly from West Nile. And it is a, a very strong bodied coffee uh, with some balance of acidity. And it's a very good coffee for uh, fitting into the, it can even stand alone as, uh, as, as a bread. Then we have the drugas. These are dry Uganda Arabicas. Uh, they are mainly from Mount Renzori, and they are highly demanded for. Uh, but now we also have, which is not on this list, we have the honey processed coffees, and we have the coffees which are produced by Ecopalpas. They are also uh, traded uh, internationally. Then we have a trade. Um, a grade called triage. Uh, this is a robust undergrade, an Arabica undergrade, sorry. And it is usually used for producing instant coffees or soluble coffee. Uh, why is Uganda Robusta special? I had told you before that Uganda is the home of Robusta. Robusta has been growing here since time immemorial. It can be found in forests, it can be found in the wild. So we have many varieties uh, of robustas and many lines that are growing in Uganda. And I had told you that Uganda grows uh, robust at a very high altitude, which is 900 to 1,500 meters above sea level. And this enhances its uh, acidity. Uh, our robusta is also mild, it is soft, it is sweet, it's neutral in taste, and it's highly demanded for, especially in the European uh, Union countries, uh, it is where it is mainly destined, and 60% of that coffee it goes to Italy. We export it to Italy, uh, and it's also de highly demanded for uh, in Sudan, who is our neighbour. They take a lot of robusta coffee, especially screen 15. Generally, in Uganda, uh, the smallholders uh, do not use a lot of uh, inputs, inorganic inputs. They use less of chemical fertilizers, fungicides, uh, pesticides, and most of our coffee we can proudly say is organic by default. But uh, we have some coffees which are organic and certified by third parties and they are available if anybody wants to import them. Uh, our Robusta is, I had told you, is of strictly uh, hard bean because of the altitude on which it grows, and it is, has very high frothing properties, and it's suitable for uh, espresso-based uh, drinks. And the main uh, characteristic of our coffee in the cup is caramel, chocolate, honey, uh, nutty, and herby. Uh, on the Arabica side, we have uh, you can see on the right hand side uh, the picture of uh, CP Falls and people who are standing on that uh, bridge. Uh, that is uh, the home of uh, Bugisu Coffee, that is Mount Elgon. And the coffee which grows there is called either Bugisu Coffee, Mount Elgon Coffee, or there are new brands that are coming out like CP Falls Coffee. Uh, this coffee is uh, very good and highly traded and highly sought for by the specialty markets. 
Uh, this coffee has a smooth body, sweet flavor, refined acidity, and lingering aftertaste. Uh, down south, I had told you, uh, bordering Rwanda, we have Mount Mahavura, which is around 400 mit 4,000 meters above sea level, and it's the one of the last homes of the Mount Gorillas. Uh, there is coffee produced there in some uh, medium quantities, and it has a very lively acidity. Uh, I would say it has um, malic acidity. It, ha it is creamy uh, in mouthfeel. It is sweet in flavor, and it has a very good lingering aftertaste. Uh, the third one which we want to uh, introduce to you is coffee from Mount Renzori. Uh, this coffee, uh, Mount Renzori, is 5,000 meters above sea level, but on its on its foothills, uh, there is a uh, coffee called Dry Uganda Arabica, which is a natural, and washed Uganda Arabica. Recently, they've started washing the coffees, and these coffees are very highly sought for, and the volumes are quite high of coffees from Mount Renzori. Uh, if you are interested uh, to come you, to Uganda for investment, uh, we welcome you because the coffee industry is now very vibrant and growing at a very fast rate uh, to reach the target of 20 million bags by 2025. And the Uganda market is fully liberalized. Uh, the requirements for coffee exports are minimal and they are transparent. If you visit our website, you'll get a full list of what you need to register as an exporter. And uh, we have uh, a free economy, you can come in with your money, you can trade in coffee, you can trade in also other products that you may uh, find uh, interesting or which you have interest in. Uh, we have also investment opportunities uh, in farming, farming in big estates, you can invest in that. Coffee exporting, you can register as an export company. You can come in as a buyer, you buy and export to the countries that you, that you want. Then there is a very big opportunity in roasting, uh, which is not at the moment well developed, but uh, it has a very big opportunity and the government it is moving towards that. And in that, in that uh, uh, roasting, um, in the roasting you can come in and invest in a soluble plant. Uh, the country is looking at that because we have a lot of robusta coffee which is suitable for making uh, instant coffees. Uh, all the coffee from Uganda is uh, graded before export, meaning we do not uh, export coffee which is not sorted, which is not fumigated. We have to fumigate and sort out all the coffee, lo label them properly, and we do inspection, 100% inspections on all the exports before uh, they are allowed to move out of the country. Uh, I had told you before, we have uh, many certified uh, Robusta and Arabica graders. Uh, some are in our lab here at UCDA, but some are with the coffee exporters. They, they manage the labs at the export level. So uh, if you need uh, a Q certificate, you can be able to get it in Uganda because we have enough uh, graders who can do that for you. Uh, we have also uh, seen a growth in micro lots in case you want very unique specialty coffees which are top notch, uh, they are also available. And also we have uh, sus sustainable coffees and uh, fine coffees for robustas. Yes, uh, investment uh, in the Uganda coffee subsector, uh, we have a lot of uh, opportunities still. Uh, we have stocks uh, of coffee. We have uh, land, uh, there is vast land, which is suitable for coffee production. Uh, we have an opportunity for soluble coffee, which is derived mainly from robusta coffee, which is 80% of our production. Uh, there is also an opportunity in packaging material uh, because at the moment we import, I would say, 90% of the packaging material. 
uh, but uh, they can be manufactured within the country if there is, uh, if there is an investment in that. And uh, we serve uh, Uganda. If you, if you bring here a manufacturing for packaging material, you'll serve Uganda. You'll be able to serve Congo, you'll serve Sudan, and you'll serve uh, other East African countries. So the market for packaging material is big. Uh, we, have, uh, we have also an opportunity in washing stations. Most of our coffees are naturals, and there is an opportunity to wash them and improve their, improve their quality. So washing stations uh, are needed in the country to wash uh, robustas and arabicas uh, prior to export. Uh, there is also um, an opportunity uh, to invest in machinery in case you are interested. You can uh, invest in machinery for primary and secondary processing and also for roasting. Sorry, a minute. Um, I, I want to take you through the uh, issuance of permits that we do here in Uganda. Uh, in Uganda, we have a, a paperless process uh, which requires no physical movement. We can issue a certificate or a permit. When you, are, when you apply online, you can get it and we will send it to you. It is a very quick process and the transaction costs are very low. So what do you do? You can apply for a quality certificate and uh, we, we do the inspection, that is level number two, and issue a permit. This permit that we issue, uh, we give you one document, which is uh, a physical document, but we also send it through the system, uh, which is called the Uganda Electronic Single Window, which is supported by the Ascuda World. Uh, this is for mainly, uh, for mainly customs clearance at the borders and also for shipment at Momba support. Uh, these documents are all written off as they are issued so that there is no misuse uh, of documents or reusing documents. Uh, I'll take to you through the brief of, uh, of what you need if you want to come in as an exporter you need to have an incorporated company in Uganda, a registered company by Uganda Registration uh, Services Bureau. You need to have access to uh, an export grading facility. You need to, uh, to get a bond from your insurance, and it has to be a bond which is uh, of US $25,000, and this is an annual bond. It is renewable every year. And then the export license is $400, and it's, and it's uh, issued per year. And the coffee year runs from October to September each year. Uh, those are two pictures. Uh, the upper one is of uh, a warehouse in Kampala, an export warehouse. And below it is showing an export processing facility. Um, that export processing facility is not in full, but it shows you what uh, the, the processes that the coffee goes through prior to export. Um, I wish to conclude and uh, inform you that Uganda coffee is of very high intrinsic quality characteristics. We have very, very diverse coffees and they are of very, very good quality. And we have many grades. I showed you more than 10 grades per type of robust and arabica. We have many differentiated grades, and you can pick a grade that is suitable for your blends. And we have very good favorable conditions. I showed you that you can get coffee throughout the year because we have two harvesting seasons per year. And uh, yeah, because of that, coffee is uh, available throughout the year. You'll open a factory and you'll be able to export coffee every month for 12 months. Um, we have a roadmap and a strategy uh, which is guiding us to move from the 6.1 million bags to the 20 million bags. So our industry is growing. And also uh, we have a consumption trend uh, which is growing. 
and uh, it will also, I think, uh, within a very few years, you'll find that we'll be able to, pro to consume probably like 20% of our coffee. Uh, we have very many investment opportunities, uh, which are in Uganda, which you can uh, come and talk to us, and we give you the details of how they are and where you can uh, put your money. And we have a website. Uh, the website is www.ugandacoffee.go.ug. This one you can visit and get the information about the Uganda coffee industry. So thank you very much. Uh, the last slide shows uh, the culture of Uganda. Uh, you, you can see a basket uh, with coffee wrapped in banana fibers. Uh, this is uh, the coffee that Ugandans consume uh, on casual basis uh, in, on the streets, in homes, in ceremonies. And on the right hand side, you will see a young person uh, holding coffee, which is in banana fibers and uh, he's on the street vending it. And uh, below there is a basket uh, of coffee. It is being served at uh, a ceremony in Uganda. Thank you very much. Thank you. Madam uh thank you very much for your very, very uh, thorough, in-depth uh, introduction about the Uganda coffee. So, uh, it's, uh, it's uh, very, very comprehensive. So uh, uh, I believe everybody uh, here, no matter they are roasters or they are importers or they are cafe owners, they got, uh, they got uh, 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 something, know-how and knowledge about your kind of coffee. So uh, thank you very much, uh, Madame Dore. Give us the action. Thank you very much, Madame Dore. Give us the action. Thank you very much, Madame Dore. Give us the action. Thank you very much, 非常详细的有关乌干达咖啡品质的介绍。那接下来我们赶紧以热烈掌声请出乌干达咖啡发展局呃总裁。So now I like to invite、uh, Dr. Amanuel, Managing Director of UCDA, to speak to us. Please, Dr. Amanuel, to give us a speech. From UCDA, Kampala. Thank you. Good afternoon,、uh, all the way from Uganda, and、uh, I know in China you are、uh, six hours ahead of us. Here we've been enjoying the best of the coffees.、Uh, we were privileged to host our uh, uh, the Chinese ambassador to Uganda, and also.、Uh, Uh, the Honorable、uh, Minister of State for Foreign Affairs,、uh, to the best of the coffee here, we've been、uh, carrying out a camping competition、uh, where we are looking at different coffees to,、uh, that we are very proud of with the rich aroma and the,、uh, and the, and the flavor.、Uh, but I want to take this opportunity to thank all of you who have embraced、uh, this occasion. Where we are celebrating 60 years of the bilateral relations between Uganda and China, and you couldn't do better、uh, than having it over a cup of coffee, and more so having a cup of coffee、uh, on the best of the coffees.、Uh, let me take also this uh, special uh, opportunity to thank the Guangzhou Jinda Coffee Beverage Market for this、uh, for hosting this cupping event. Uh, and we hope this is going to happen、uh, many, many times. This is the first of its kind, and we want to strengthen that relationship so that we can do much more cupping session, much more、uh, closer relationship in this value chain. In Uganda and culture,、uh, a friendship is broken over a cup of coffee, and therefore、uh, we are celebrating this friendship we've had between. Uh, the Republic of China and the、uh, Republic of Uganda over the last 60 years.、Uh, just to take you back, five years ago, His Excellency the President issued a directive for increasing exports to different markets, and especially for coffee.、Uh, we had a we have a target of 20 million bags、uh, 
exports uh, up to 2025. And in this directive, through the coffee roadmap, we are looking at exports some of the uh, emerging markets, but also some of the markets where uh, coffee culture is still new, and, but it's growing. And we are very privileged to be in the market of China. We know the uh, coffee consumption in China is growing the highest in the world uh, with the younger population, but also looking at a, a, a 1.4 million uh, people in China, and we are bringing the best of the coffees in the world. Uh, two varieties of coffee are grown in Uganda, as uh, Doreen has mentioned, Robusta and Arabica, and the Robusta coffee is indigenous in Uganda. His Excellency, the Amb uh, Ambassador of Republic of China to Uganda, was asking me uh, when we started growing coffee. And I told him as old as history, because Coffee, you can find it in the bushes, you can find it in your compound, you can find it in the mountain, you can find it in the valley. Coffee is everywhere, and that gives us a privilege of having the different types of coffee, the different flavors, uh, high in the mountains, low in the valleys, and uh, uh, along the hills. So we are happy to be uh, being part of the uh, the relationship between the Republic of China and Uganda, uh, where we can build our trade and investments around the coffee. And the coffee, we have developed a coffee promotion strategy, and we want the, uh, we request the, uh, our ambassador in China and Guangzhou uh, to be part of that uh, promotion, where we can have a structured demand from, uh, from China, uh, where we can structure many deals around the coffee. We are importing a lot of commodities from China. Coffee is one of the singular uh, commodities that has been prioritized to enter that market. And we believe uh, with all our tireless efforts, we can, uh, we can achieve that. Uganda has been ex exporting a lot of coffee. Last year, we reached the highest we had had in the history when we exported uh, uh, at 6.5 million bags. Uh, these exports have an unprecedented uh, impact on the economy, but part of the coffee was going to China. Unfortunately, the volumes are still, uh, still low. Uh, we, we believe with China's uh, importation of coffee standing at 0 0.8 million bags, uh, while in the uh, overall uh, China imported uh, about 1.5 million bags, we believe if Uganda can be a big share, uh, a big share of the coffee which was imported in China, uh, that would cement a strong relationship together. Uh, we are working with the different Chinese companies to develop a coffee online plat marketing platform where our, it can be very convenient for a Chinese consumer uh, to import coffee uh, from Uganda. And we are also looking at different uh, aspects where, where we can get this coffee in the, in the Chinese market. And we welcome everybody uh, to test Ugandan coffee. And we hope many of the businesses uh, involved in the roasting of coffee in the, uh, in, in the having coffee bazaar, uh, in having uh, coffee competitions, in having coffee uh, cafes can be, uh, can have a big taste of Ugandan coffee, uh, you will not be disappointed. Uganda is a privilege to have, uh, to try a thread the equator. It provides uh, a, a 20, uh, throughout the year it gives us uh, sunshine, it gives us rainfall, it gives us conducive climate for production all year round uh, of good quality coffee. So different flavors of, and the aromas are grown across the country and that provides an opportunity to provide you uh, different uh, aromas and tastes depending on the flavors uh, you, are, you are used to. So the cupping of Ugandan coffee today it was a wonderful opportunity for the people of China to experience our different flavors and aromas that range from chocolate, peaches, dragon fruits, bananas, prunes, passion fruits, 
Vanira name it. We present special uh, coffees from home of the Great Mountain Gorilla in southwestern Uganda, uh, the mountains of R the moon in western Uganda, the mountains of Ergon Ranges in eastern Uganda, where you also find the Great Sipi Forest. Uh, this is the f different flavors we've been providing and capping during this session. Uh, suffice to say, Uganda is a home of uh, is the home or a birthplace of robusta coffee and it is used usually to blend other coffees. But many of the, uh, those who have tested uh, Ugandan coffees prefer to take it alone without blending. And that's where we are looking at washed coffees, washed Uganda robustas, uh, have very unique taste and aroma as we promote Ugandan coffee in this market. We also have different ways of processing our coffee and we invite you to test in some of those areas where our coffee is available. Uh, we hope that the government of Uganda and uh, will work together with uh, the government of China and the private sector to promote Ugandan coffee further in China. Uh, because Ugandan coffee is, only is not only tested, but every coffee bean contributes to the betterment of lives of many Ugandans who grow and trade in the coffee. And therefore, buying Ugandan coffee, will, you'll be actually investing in Ugandan population because coffee contributes substantially to the livelihood of Ugandans uh, in their income. And so we wish you a good cupping session. Enjoy a cup of Arabica coffee, a cup of Robusta coffee from the great part of Africa, Uganda. I thank you and allow me at this juncture to thank with humility uh, His Excellency the Ambassador of the Republic of China through the Guangzhou Commercial Bureau and also the Guangzhou Foreign Affairs Office and the Government of Uganda to, for the support in organizing this event. Uh, as the UCDA, we are ready to serve you we have the best of the, uh, the cuppers certified with the quality, uh, quality, Coffee Quality Institute of the United States. We have Arab and two graders who can give you the best of the cupping and assure you that the coffee you are drinking is the best of its kind. Thank you and uh, God bless. Thank you. Thank you. So I'm Emma, uh, Managing Director of UCDA. Um, so, Doctor, uh, I want to uh, I want to say that we um, all convinced that uh, Uganda coffee has a great great potential for Chinese market. Uh, it, actually, in the past uh, two days, we have been. Um, uh, through, we have been through uh, intensive talks with the uh, uh, ambassador, his ex-ambassador, also consul people here. We discussed and, uh, and explored all the possibilities for Uganda coffee uh, in China, especially through the gateway of South China, Guangzhou. It's a hub, it's a frontier for Africa with China. Uh, one thing is clear, we are all very much interested in investing, in engaging with Uganda coffee. That's why we are here uh, consolidating our efforts, uh, conquering all the obstacles of COVID-19. Uh, we, we get all the people here in holding together of Uganda Coffee Day. Congratulations to you also. Thank you. Thank uh, you. So I'd like to thank Mr. Emmanuel for this wonderful speech. And I also want to express my gratitude for all the participants and the organizer of today's events. So as that we can avail this opportunity to promote coffee from Uganda. So the coffee beans after 20 days of transportation finally arrived in Guangzhou and after roasting and after over 10 cuppers assessment 
they are all Q graders and they have made their professional assessments. So no matter it is Arabica or Robusta, after the cupping and tasting, we now have great confidence in the quality of Uganda coffee. Now I'd like to give the floor to Mr. Mr. Li Jingyan, head judge of the cupping team. Share with us about the copy uh, of all the Uganda coffee beans, uh, no matter it is uh, Robusta or is Arabica. Uh, as far as I know, more than 20 types of Uganda coffee latest uh, uh, harvest samples arrived in China and are being carved today. So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome Jack Li, the head judge of uh, Chinese professional uh, panel to the stage to share with us about your kind of coffee copy today. Welcome. <clears throat> Distinguished guest, good afternoon. On behalf of all the cupping team members, I'd like to thank the Jingda Coffee and Beverage Center for inviting me to join these meaningful events. And during our cupping, we have the opportunity to taste some very high quality coffee. We deeply feel that um, Uganda coffee is very tasty and very charming to us. We are attracted by Uganda coffee for Robusta. We feel it's like, we feel the flavor of black chocolates, roasted uh, chocolates. Um, for Arabica, we can also taste some delicate aroma, including the flavor of fruits, different types of fruits and even flower flavor. Here, I'd like to express my hope that for the Chinese consumers, I encourage them to get to know more about the coffee from Uganda. Hereby, once again, I'd like to express my thanks to the uh, Uganda CD, uh, UCDA as well as the Jinda Coffee and Beverage Leader. And I also want to thank all the cuppers for your contribution and your engagements in these events. I'm Mr. Jackie Lee, the head judge, uh, who uh, has led uh, the, the panel of 10 members. We are, who are China's uh, most professional coppers, uh, certified as Q graders. Um, the test, uh, they copped all the coffee, coffees uh, from Uganda, uh, and, um, very much uh, flavorful, uh, no matter it's Rupasta and uh, uh, Arabica. So very high quality. So uh, I believe you have already uh, the results of um, best cup of coffee uh, of these, these lots from Uganda, latest harvest. Uh, I would like to welcome you again to a stage to um, make public of the copying results uh, for this whole day your team has been through. Uh, three or four rounds or many rounds. So please, we uh, are uh, now, just now, the head chief has already, the, the head judge has already shared with us their conclusion. He said, no matter it is Robusta or Arabica coffee, they are all of premium quality. And after the cupping of 10 cuppers, they have finished all the assessment and cupping of 
all the 20 types of coffees. Now, I'd like to I'd like to know that the, the, the personnel that provide the coffee all very concerned and interested about the uh, coffee results. Now, I'd like to invite the coffee team to share with us the results of coffee. Let's welcome them to the stage. So now we do we have the results already? Okay. Um, after a long day's cupping, now the cuppers have scored all the different types of coffee. Now they came up with top three coffees. They have already got their results in their hand. Now we're going to do a award presentation ceremony. We're going to award the top three coffee. Oh, the best coffees from these lots. So we will give awards to top one, top two, top three coffees. Uh, uh, next. So we proceed to the awards giving ceremony part. Uh, okay. So judges, right? Oh. I would like to welcome your honorable uh, ambassador, Mr. Mugisa, to the stage to give awards. Uh, first round, we'll give awards to honor to all the judge panel uh, members. 那接下来我们把, 呃, now we're going to invite all the 10 couples to the stage. And we're going to invite our ambassador to present the certificates of cupping to them. Thank you for your hard work. Welcome all the job. So the uh, His Excellency Ambassador is going to give a judge a certificate to all the members. Thank you for your hard work in the copying today. Yeah. yeah please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you for your dedication. This is a memorable moment, and this is also a moment. They made a lot of efforts in doing the cupping, and now we came up with a list for the dedicated coffees from Uganda. Let's take a good photo together. One, two, three, Uganda! <laughs> thank you. I'd like to thank all the couples for your hard work. And thank you for your endorsement. And once again, let's give them another round of warm applause. Thank you for your engagement. Thank you, all the judges. Next, we give awards to the winning coffees. So uh, we let's welcome Miss Weona representing the consulate. Yeah, 
you are the uh, best uh, representative for all the coffee industry, uh, you know, uh, farmlands who engage in this copying today, supplies to coffees to China for copying. So our uh, Jackie. This is number one. Pronounce. Uh, for number one, we have Mount Elgon. Uh, then the, uh, the producing area is Mount, Mount Elgon. Oh, sorry. For in uh, the winner of the capping, we have uh, the producing areas, Mount Elgon. Then the supplier is Chagalani Coffee Limited. Congratulations. Congratulations. Uh, so I'd like to congratulate all the price prize winners. Our main thing area is CP Falls, dry processed coffee. That's the second, that's the coffee, coffee in the second position. Congratulations. Oh, uh, Zuhe, we have the second coffee. Ah. Zuhe, Zuhe. In the third position, we have CP Falls natural anaerobic coffee. Oh, our third position is also small. 最后我们获得得分最高的我们三个豆子。So I'd like to congratulate all these three types of coffee. And I've, I hope they will enjoy a very big sales amount here in the Chinese markets. Please um, pass the honor you know, to Uganda, to all the, all the uh, farmlands, to all the owners. Of course, to UCDA, yeah, your efforts has uh, have paid off. We have coffees, uh, highly valued, highly praised by Chinese market or by through the copying today. Okay, and also uh, we want to give awards, uh, pay tribute to all the engaging partners who give us support today to. Uh, your efforts, your joining with us uh, has made this happen. So let's welcome all the partners to the stage. Now we invite the supporters, uh, Si Yi Coffee, uh, Mr. Hu from Si Yi Coffee. Washing Coffee, Mr. Zhong. Old Station, Mr. Zhang. Xixiang Yulong Company. Roasters Warehouse Trading Corporate Limited. Madam Luo. Orange and Coffee Roastering. Sinovo Enterprise Incubator. Guangzhili Mice. That's me. It is my honor. So once again, may I invite uh, Your Excellency, Ambassador Fred, Magisha Fred, Your Excellency, would you please uh, present the certificate as a token of appreciation.
Uganda. Uganda and China. Uh, now we'll proceed and you know the UCDA. I believe our uh, UCDA uh, international judges also be with us for the moment. Do you have any questions toward this copy? So it, we give some uh, active time for uh, technical discussion on this copy. Hello, Kampala. Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? Our judges, our international judges. Nihauma. Do you have any questions you wish to um, discuss with our Q graders, our, our judge panel? So briefly, I'd like so to briefly, introduce, I'd like to introduce the team of judges. judges from Uganda. I'm called Brenda Kamara Kemdishamangeni. Uh, Q and R certified judge, judge, I mean, and I'm going to let my colleagues introduce themselves for one minute. Nihao, my name is Jacob Batayurega, Q and R grader certified, based here in Uganda, Kampala. Thank you. Hi, the team in China. I'm Rafael Wafoyo, insurance officer with UC. I'm also a Q grader. Hello, one. I'm Claire Rakatogoro, promotion officer, UCDA. Um, I'm also a Q grader, a Q Arabic assistant instructor, and a Q robuster instructor. It was amazing to cap, and we're waiting to calibrate with all your judges. Thank you. So, for starters, I would like to say that uh, luckily enough, most of our top at least five coffees um, are also the top that have been announced that side. Yeah, so we could go ahead and maybe have an interaction with the judges and have a further discussion into their cuppings. Anyway, uh, from our side, our top coffees were, I think I'm going to say them by code, or I would rather say them by the producer. We had uh, the CP Natural Dry Processed, was one of our best coffees. The Natural Speciality Anaerobically Processed Coffee was also one of our best coffees. We had Nasaga as one of our best coffees. Um, and um, the washed sippy. Those were some of our top coffees from this side. And uh, the points were ranging from 8.5 to 88. I don't know what you guys found from the cupping. My name is William Moore. And uh, uh, 
我是很荣幸参加连续两年参加了你们 UCDA 的 Best of the Pro 的比赛，然后去年我也是作为其中一个竞标得标者购买了你们呃。The keep it my pole. M4, beating winner. I still doing roasting of uh, the uh, M4. We also got the uh, 80.2 being this year. It has a very strong aroma of liquor. But to me, it seems uh, that this is a little bit or slightly over fermented. I don't know what's uh, the process of roastery and um, how do you understand uh, the fermentary process, aerobic uh, process? Um, what are uh, some of the comments uh, from the fermentation, aerobic processing? Because to me, it's slightly over fermented. Um. So the, what made that coffee unique is its processing method. So this coffee is actually anaerobically processed. So uh, it, it could be maybe you're not used to this kind of profile, but it has an amazing profile. We got berries, we got gooseberries, um, got winey nuts. It was really the most outstanding of the coffees we had to cup. That is how it, was, it has to do with the way it was processed. Sorry, I can. This is can translate at the first time. So maybe we can have more interactions and more cup uh, and more samples sent your side so that we calibrate on some of these coffees and we can have a uniform judgment on some of them. So in future, we look forward to sending you more samples for cuppings, which we can do together and further calibrate on such kind of coffees. Thank you so much, thank you so much. Yeah, and your feedback would be really, really important to us because then it would guide the producers on how to better improve their processes and fetch a better price and market for their coffees. Yeah. yeah, so otherwise we thank you for this opportunity and we look forward to more cuppings with you. Stay blessed. Engaged in this cupping test for twice in a row, so thank you for the experience and opportunity. We are very pleased that uh, this event provides an opportunity for technical discussions uh, for the graders uh, between China and Uganda to discuss in greater depth about those uh, technical elements and attributes of the coffee in Uganda. Uh, the previous discussion is a little bit technical. For instance, uh, the processing, the plantation, uh, we can have more discussions and see uh, there are room for further adjustment, fine tuning, so that it can be tailor made to the appetite of uh, Chinese consumers. Um, I think this provides uh, a feedback from Chinese consumers. Uh, appetite and uh, that uh, might be um, of certain help for the fine-tuning of the process for coffee in Uganda. I really appreciate uh, the interaction of the cuppers both in China and in Uganda and they also highly cherish the opportunities of the kind so that uh, cuppers, graders uh, can gather together, can taste, appreciate, and discuss together so that we may find more room for fine-tuning or uh, more samples that are better suited for Chinese consumers' taste and appetite. Interesting exchange. Um, I am a newcomer, so I, I really don't uh, got all the pictures what they're talking about because very, very 
pic uh, technical, but I think it's very, very meaningful because uh, um, uh, we have the same focus, how to satisfy uh, Chinese market, uh, their demands on quality, also the Uh, in China. Uh, now, uh, I'd like to thank UCDA once again. The judge, uh, international judge uh, team, uh, who I wish and uh, uh, one day you guys come to China and also uh, the same way our team of uh, Chinese judges come to Uganda to your lab so we can have face-to-face exchange face-to-face -face discussion uh, to ensure the best quality for your kind of coffee thank you thank you very much uh, uh, once again let's thank the judges from both sides once again thank you very much i like to thank the cuppers the graders the judges uh, from both sides and uh, i believe that with such discussion we'll be able to produce some more coffee that are suitable or preferred by chinese consumers lastly i'd like to once again invite to the stage his excellency Mujisha fred ambassador of uganda to china to close the session Hi. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for your patience. We have been here for the rest of the day doing this activity. And now I take the opportunity to thank everyone for all your patience and hard work towards the success of this event. Number two, in a special way, I want to take this opportunity to thank judges on both sides of the border, those here with us and those in Uganda for doing a professional work that meets the standards of the market in China. I was particularly happy to note that some of the conclusions and judgments are rhyming on both sides of the border. The way they were ranked here by different judges is the same way almost 100 percent the way the judges in uganda also gave their verdict of their findings this further strengthens the cooperation and professionalism and i want to use this opportunity to say China, chinese people take note that uganda will pay attention and special attention to the standards especially regarding food the foods we use it is there i know for the supplies that the rhyming on both sides is almost the same it was such a wonderful facility that we have all started from since we came here up to now i have all the confidence that starting there going forward this relationship is going to strength, is going to be nurtured, and we are looking forward to results that will benefit both sides in terms of trade and also making money and business opportunities. I give my remarks on the introduction of our country and the relationship between Uganda and China and I'm not going to take a lot of time to repeat this. However, I want to prove that as far as Uganda Embassy in China and our consulate in Kwanjo, we will make sure that we plant the relationship to the, up to the time when we will begin this business activity that will further strengthen the other ways, very good 
diplomatic relations that exist. Particularly take note of what the judges in Uganda said, it has also been amplified by Thomas, that we are looking for professional couples from Uganda come here to meet their counterparts, and also uh, professional couples of China visiting Uganda so that they can further exchange and deepen the relationship. With these few words, ladies and gentlemen, I thank you once again for all your patience, and I wish you good luck. And I take the opportunity to close this function. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Your Honorable. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Uganda, uh, Kampala, all the, all the people of UCDA, uh, also the consul and em embassy and the consul here, uh, and also the coffee industry of China. We have to celebrate the Uganda Coffee Day. The activities come to a conclusion, but it's just the beginning, as uh, His Excellency Ambassador said. We need more promotions for Uganda coffee. We need more copy. We need more meaningful exchanges, different different sections, roasters, uh, uh, importers, uh, coppers, business people, all kinds of fields. So um, now we welcome all the all the guests, all the VIPs to stage. We take a group photo, and I, I wish all the Kampala side of VIPs also open. We, we take a proper photo together. Hello, Kampala. All the people, we take a group photo. So, yeah, please come to the stage. We take a group photo to our next generation, Kampala, Well,
，现在我们再次请出我们的舞蹈演员，在乌干达妙曼的歌声中，我们自由交流好吗？ And for the other guests, we can just feel free to talk to each other. Let's enjoy some music and dance together.